All right, guys, so if you haven't already figured out, um, you know, just by the title of this video, the trick I'm going to be showing you is really, really cool, um, and it's going to work every single time. So this is basically what it looks like. I'm going to have a spectator say stop whenever they want. In this case, I'm going to have you guys say stop, uh, but since you're not here, I'll do it. But anyways, um, wherever we say stop, I'm going to be telling you right now the card you're going to land on is the Nine of Diamonds. So go ahead, you can say stop wherever you want. We can go through the deck, and uh, you can do this with your own spectator too. You can just keep going through until you absolutely want them or once they want to say stop. So let's say they were to say stop right here. Like I said, it does not matter. It's a completely random card. This is the card we happen to stop at, guys. And this card happens to be the nine of diamonds, just like that. So this is the trick. It's going to work every single time. And if we want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so here's how the trick is going to work. So as you guys saw, it was really, really simple. Um, it really only took me about like 30 seconds to actually do the trick. And the setup is just, um, just as simple. So um, what you want to do is take a group of cards, maybe like this much or so, really not a lot, but just a little bit like this, and you flip that over so the deck is going to look just like this, and you're not going to be able to show the spectators what's going on. So let's say this is the top half of the deck with most of the face down cards. When you flip the deck over, this is going to be the side with only a couple uh, face down cards on top, and this card here is going to be your predictions. So in this case, we have the eight of diamonds, and you know you can write this down. You can tell the spectator, you know, verbally that you're gonna they're gonna stop you at the eight of diamonds or whatever. But like I said, whatever you want to do to make uh, the effect a little bit more, a little bit more magical, I guess you can kind of do it any way you'd like. But I just showed you guys like the bare bones thing in the performance. So you're going to flip the deck over. You know the card that they're gonna stop at is the eight of diamonds. So. You can have them literally say stop wherever they want to, and I'm telling you, they're not going to have you go through the entire deck. Um, so let's just say they keep going, they can say stop wherever they want, and you want to make sure the cards are kind of like messy on the table, because that is going to give you an excuse to square up the cards. I'll show you what I mean. Um, you're going to go ahead and keep going, and let's say they were to say stop. And now from here, what you do is you can misdirect the spectators, and you're going to tell them, you know, they could have stopped you anywhere they wanted to in the deck and as you're talking to them all you have to do is flip your left hand over real casually and square up this packet of cards and that gives you uh, you know the reason or the opportunity to flip over this deck unnoticed so you put this on the table and you say look the next card is going to be the eight the diamonds you can flip this over and show that to them and this is pretty much the end of the trick and the reason why I flipped over um, you know, more cards than I really needed to is just so if the spectators did see a little bit of flash here, they can only see the face on cards anyway. So, this is a trick, guys. Hope you guys like it. And if you want to learn to see uh, more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.